Hello and welcome to a brand new preview episode for Black on Black Cinema. I'm your host, Jay. I'm here with my co-host, Micah. Hey. All right, guys. This is preview for episode 154. Make sure I get this title right. Carbon, a hip hopper. <laughs> you asked for it. We're going to do it. And we don't even want to. Um, this is obviously starring um, known thespian uh, Beyonce Knowles, um, Makai Pfeiffer. This is the... African American rap R and B, I guess, an adaptation of the famous uh, Carmen Jones play. So, um, this is Terrence's favorite movie. So we decided to do this. Um, he's really excited about it. Unfortunately, he won't be here on that episode. So we will make sure to relay all of his love for the film um, next week. Uh, you have not seen this movie, is that correct? Of course. Of course I haven't. Of course I haven't. Why would I watch a film starring Rod Digger? <laughs> Why would I watch a film starring Wyclef Jean? No, I didn't watch this movie. And I'm I'm sad that I'm going to have to watch it. Um, I am a little sad that I have to watch this. Although I do know that uh, one of our listeners is in this movie. Reagan Gomez. She listens to the show. Oh, well, all right yeah. then. So that's kind of cool. I, I mean, she mentioned us on Twitter once. So uh, we will be very kind to this movie. No, we'll I'm going to be kind to Rick and Gomez. I'm going to be kind to this movie. <laughs> We're going to try our best. Um, so, yeah, look forward to uh, Carmen and Hip Hop uh, for some reason um, next week. Uh, Micah, you have the preview episode this week. Uh, yeah, the topic. Yo, this is a Robert Townsend movie. Yeah. <laughs> All right, All right. Oh, this is gonna be great. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be great. I'm excited now. I'm officially excited. Um, the preview episode is something a little different. Uh, you know, normally these preview episodes we try to talk about some sort of you know thing that's going on in society right now. But there's such a wealth of fucked up itness to talk about that I'm paralyzed by all the choices. So instead, we're just going to talk about a TV show, uh, a TV show called Black Mirror. Um, it's a it's a good show. Uh, I enjoy it. This last it's in season five. Mm -hmm. And um, we're going to talk in particular about um, uh, season five, episode one, <laughs> Striking Vipers. <laughs> um, it stars Anthony Mackie. Yahya Abdul Mateen II, Nicole Bahari, Palm Clementith, Ludi Lin, uh, and a couple other people. And uh, for those of you that have never seen Black Mirror, Black Mirror is like if the Twilight Zone met well, if the Radio Shack. Yeah, if the Twilight Zone met Radio Shack, right? Like there's all these tales of of people using technology in a near future and consequences happen because of it right um do you know what by the way do you know what black mirror stand like what does that mean no it's your phone oh okay is, so everyone is always in these shows they're always obsessed with their phones or technology or it, it is permeating into their lives in one form or another it's Which, a very good show in general. Though. It is a very good show in general. This season isn't the best, but it's not the worst. <laughs> this episode's interesting. This uh, this episode is very interesting. So this episode is um is based centered around um Anthony Mackie's character named Danny and uh hold, hold on one second. If you've not seen this episode, we would highly recommend that you see it. And then come back and listen to this, yeah, this episode because yeah, we don't want to. We're going to spoil it for you. We're going to talk about it, but it, you should see it. You should really see this first. It's, uh, it's, it's on Netflix, by the way. It's but, very interesting. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's season five, episode one, Striking Vipers. But go ahead. So spoilers. Yeah, spoilers. This is that's it. That's your warning. Um, the episode centers around uh, Anthony Mackie's character Danny and uh, Yaya Abdul Mateen the Second's character Carl. Danny and Carl are best buds uh, since college, yeah. um, and you know we and Anthony Mackie has a girlfriend that he you know loves. It fast forwards to uh, them in the future. They've gone to college. They've grown up. Uh, Danny Anthony Mackie's character has married his girlfriend uh, Theo, played by Nicole Bahari, and they are. You know, they have a kid. 
Uh, and life is just kind of moving along as life does. You know, life is generally uneventful if you're lucky mm -hmm. or unlucky, depending on what kind of life you want to lead. Yeah, no kidding. But, um, yeah, life is just kind of moving along, right? And um, Danny and Carl had been estranged after college, right? So on, on Danny's 38th birthday, um, his wife, Theo, throws him a party, and she invites Carl. She found Carl. Carl shows up. Carl's like, hey, man, haven't seen you in a long time. You know, it's really nice talking to you. Here's a birthday present. It's a video game called Striking Vipers. It's a fighting game, right? And it's a virtual reality fighting game. I got you the virtual reality component that you need to play it. Yeah, he's hooking them up. Yeah. It's like, maybe you and I can play it one day, right? So it's like, all right, that's cool, man. So uh, we cut back to, to Danny and his life is still just kind of humdrum. And, you know, Theo wants to have another child, but he's just kind of in a rut. Like, he's like, ah, you know, I don't really know what's going on with myself. You know, I'm hitting 40 soon. I don't really know. Right. He's around on. our age, which is, yeah. there's a lot of, there's a lot of thematic parts of this yeah, that I, that yeah. I can uh, certainly understand. Yeah. He's a, he's a married guy with one kid about 40 years old in a <laughs> rut, loves video games, particularly fighting games. Um, <laughs> I can't imagine who that could be. Yeah. No, I, I can't imagine. Yeah. Terrence. Um, anyway, go ahead. <laughs> uh, Terrence is actually the, the other guy, the single guy, you know, playing the field, dark-skinned, ain't got nothing better to do with himself, and, and, but play video games all day and, and just bang strange pussy all the time, right? That's what Terrence does, right? Did. Did. Not anymore. Yeah, don't beat me up, Terrence's <laughs> girlfriend. Um, so one day. Who could it be? <laughs> <laughs> one day um danny is like hey let me play this striking vipers right and he he sees his buddy carl gets a notification that he's online he's like hey bro let's play some striking vipers together you know i'm gonna whoop your ass in this fighting game right so they both get on they both put on their virtual reality headset and from this exact moment in the show i i am not a i'm not a video game person mm-hmm but Mike and Terrence are. Yeah. And I assume this is exactly what happens in this scenario. <laughs> is exactly what happens when you guys get online and you play your Xboxes and your and your and your PlayStation. It's funny because I generally pick characters that look like me, and he always picks female characters. That's interesting. He literally like no he, more. He like, actually really does. <laughs> like this isn't just me like throwing Terrence under the bus because he's not here. He always picks female he does. characters. He does. And if he if you can make a character, he always makes them black women so at, it's just the thing about terrence he he loves black women so much he wants to be one he wants to be one virtually and all that accompanies with that <laughs> <laughs> now go on so you put you 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 put on this virtual <laughs> reality such an angry message <laughs> You put on this virtual reality headset, and it's a fighting game, and you you pop in, and and all of a sudden, uh, Anthony Mackie is uh, Lance, the Bruce Lee analog, and um, Carl is is um, uh, was it Roxanne? Yeah, Roxanne, like the Chun Li of this video game, right? Right. Roxette, excuse me. Roxette. Roxette. Yeah, Roxette. And they start fighting, right? And it's like, wow, you can feel everything. You can feel everything, every punch, every every hit. You can feel it in your body, right? Because that's how virtual reality works in this world, right? Sure. And and so they they start sparring, and all of a sudden, they start wrestling. They start wrestling, and then, as Mike Tyson would say, they kith. <laughs> Yeah, like so I'm watching this and they're 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 fighting or whatever and I'm like, all right, this is kinda cool. Like this is kind of a funny yeah. sort of scenario at this point. And then she they're wrestling and she ends up on top and he's got his hands on her ass and I was like and the camera kind of pans out and I was like, nothing good can come of this. <laughs> <laughs> like this is this is gonna go a direction they uh that I was not expecting. Uh, yeah. So uh, they they start making out. They start banging. Basically, the two characters yeah. virtually start banging. They can and the the two black dudes can feel everything that their virtual that their are virtual doing. characters are facing. Now, what, what's interesting about this is in this world, not only do you look like the 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 avatar that you've picked, 
but you also sound different too, yeah. which I think is a big point. Yeah, right? you are a completely different person. Yeah. You are transformed into this other person. Yes, very good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you don't get it, you know, yeah. that's me nailing it down for you. Um, and I guess. I guess what I want to talk about is, you know, the story goes on from there. And, and the rest of it, you should just watch. Yeah, you should just watch it from there. But they bang a lot. <laughs> yeah, they do. And and to the point where Carl is kind of addicted to it. And they, both, yeah, they both are. They both are. Yeah. And Carl, they're both addicted to it. And Carl is fiending for it, right? Like, because... Yeah. It's he's it's a gagging for it. If you will. <laughs> it's a new type of experience, and and this episode in particular brings to light. Um, it it speaks about what I th- I think it's trying to speak about video game addiction <laughs> <laughs> about love and not necessarily hmm. homosexual love, but the love that these two men have for each other. Yeah, it's it's interesting because I, I would agree with that. Yeah, because it, it, because it, black dudes aren't allowed to love, you know, their friends, right? Right. And and I think it was smart for them to pick black actors. Yeah. Like I think that was absolutely on purpose. Mm-hmm. Um I like just kind of just as a general, shout out to Anthony Mackey, because this does not seem like something he would have done. No, I, I was surprised actually, and and because he seems like a very traditional guy, and for him to kind of branch out and do something like this, I thought was interesting. Yeah, uh, for him, but um, I think that is true. I think that's what they're showing because, like, they make a point of them outside of the game, and mm-hmm. them being like, "All right, we need to figure out if this is the game." Or like, right. or we're into each other, like, right. for real. Is this the game or is this some gay shit? Right. <laughs> they basically <laughs> had that conversation. And it's so funny because it's like the most dude way of saying it like, all right, nigga, kiss me, man. Right? <laughs> this shit is hilarious, right? <laughs> like, they literally is like, all right, meet me on this block at, in like 30 minutes. And then like Anthony back in there is like, all right, man, stop fucking around. Kiss me. And it's just like, wow, this is like, this is the, this is the most <laughs> like, like weird Hyper masculine way of being a gay man, like right. potentially, right? So, like that was kind of funny. But they, they, he kisses, they kiss each other, and they realize like there's nothing. Yeah, there. there's no sexual, there's no sexual attraction attraction there. between the two of them, which I thought was an important thing to distinguish, right? Like, right. So yeah, it is about their their level of closeness as friends. However, I'll say all that to say. That at no point in the future where these uh, this technology may exist, I'm not gonna fuck you in a street fighter that, game. Yeah. I'm, like, not, I'm, I'm not, not doing that. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not doing that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm not fucking a polar bear. I'm not doing any of that shit. <laughs> yeah, Carl's like, yo, Carl's like, yeah, man. I try <laughs> having sex with all these other random characters, but you know, I, and look, what he says is absolutely true. Like, video games are best played with your friends. Like right. playing they, games, they know, with, you. They right. know you, right? Playing games with randos is just it's not fun. It's right. not as fun. As fun, yeah. And and he's like, it's just, yo, I tried fucking, I tried gangbangs, I tried being men, I tried being women. I even fucked a polar bear, yo, because there's a polar bear character in the game. It's like, I fucked a polar bear, yo. And it's nothing, it's nothing to that fucking Asian dick that you got, man. Like, you know you want this shit, man. That shit has you rolling. <laughs> it's funny. But, but it, it is such an absurd and clever way to yeah. deal with the issue of of male intimacy not from a sexual perspective they're they're going a sexual perspective because they're going as far out as humanly right. possible to make a point right they're, they're going it's, it's reductive absurd right like right. so they're 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 going absolutely as far as they can but it does make a good point you were looking up an image which i i think is a good, a so, good point to bring up so there there was an image uh of ryan coogler and michael b jordan and it it's an image of uh, sort of like an embrace right and I remember when this image was first shown. This is after Black Panther. I yeah, this was. Yeah, yeah. I think it was or after Creed, Black. Maybe. Yeah, I think it was after. I think it was after uh, in between Black Panther and I, I don't know. It was. It was early. One of their many movies they've done. Too. Right. And I remember this image coming out, and I remember a bunch of like, like I remember being on one thread, and a bunch of a bunch of black dudes were like, "Yo, this gay, yo, this gay," like, "No, yo, this." 
It's not. It's really not. It's, it but, really you know, isn't. Yeah. But it speaks about how men aren't allowed to, especially black men, like we we, yeah, we no, aren't no. allowed or we are afraid or or whatever, right? I like, think I think both are true. Like right. like like, we, like like dudes don't even hug each other. Nah, fuck that. Right. Like, <laughs> I, like, like no, you, if you hug if you hug and if you're a black dude and you hug another black dude, it's got you gotta have a handshake. Yeah, you gotta have your hand in between them. Yeah. And then you gotta like all right, now. all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. get away. Yeah. Before, yeah, if, before it, the... if it's more than three <laughs> seconds, I think legally people think it's a Commonwealth marriage. Like, I think you, like, just relax. It's okay, right? So, like, women are allowed, like, like the like the Bill Burr joke. Women are allowed to be super gay. Like, oh, I'm gonna buy a pumpkin. Oh my god! Like, they are allowed to be gay about things. And dudes are like, well, buy a fucking pumpkin. Like, you got to be angry about shit. Right. And it's ridiculous. Like, but I I do think it's it's actually rather fascinating that they were able to take. This absolutely absurd idea mm-hmm. and point to the especially black men's inability in society. Because I, I think it is it is our like we do it to ourselves, but I think it's because we have been like pushed in that direction for so many years. Like we don't allow ourselves to be close like, or to have that sort of open like friendliness or love for for uh, other men if you're not in a relationship. But I think society society has pushed that on black men, and then we just fucking reinforce it, especially right. with like homosexual, like anti, or you know, being like um, a homophobe and stuff like that. All of that stuff comes from this like, Ugh, I don't want people to think I'm weak. Like, here's the thing: no one cares. Yeah, like, nobody really cares. No one gives a fuck. They really don't. Nobody I mean, cares, I guess right. other insecure men care, but like. Yeah, the vast majority of men just don't give a fuck. Like, they just don't care. Like, the, the biggest thing I care about is people in my way in traffic. That is literally <laughs> my biggest issue. I don't give a fuck about anything else. Right. So, yeah, I, I mean, I, I do think this episode is really good. Um, and that's the best part about Black Mirror is that they're not always social messages. I mean, I guess they are to an extent, but they're not normally this socially oriented. They're normally as like a societal, like, beware of technology kind of thing. Yeah. Um, but this this um, gives this this rise to using technology as a method of closeness in private. Like it's a weird public private thing, right? They're yeah. on a public server doing these things. I'm sure it's all cataloged and all this other shit. Yeah. But it's private to them because no one else. It's not on a television, right? It's all virtual, so they can only see it. Yeah. Right? So they're literally just sitting on their couches, zoning out in, in this world. Yeah. So, yeah. I, look, I thought it was. I thought it was interesting. I think it's also interesting that. Their avatars that they use are Asian. Yeah. I thought that was kind of uh, an interesting move to then also make them people of color. Yeah. Right. And yeah. they're not seen as sexual beings. Right. Yeah. In, in Hollywood. All, yeah. So then you have that aspect, which I thought was kind of interesting. Especially the Asian dudes. Right. Like just never. Yeah. But here you go. Like fucking Carl just he really wants fucking Lance's Lance. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah. It yeah, really I, I just found it. I just found it funny, and they both, in the end, both remain in heterosexual relationships, but they also have this thing. Yeah, and that's sort of the agreement that ends up happening between um, between Theo and Danny. Yeah. Although uh, 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 you can read that a couple of different ways. Like I've read that as Theo is like, look, when it comes to when it comes to uh, people around us. Like, we'll pretend to be this loving, you know, couple, but when everybody's gone, I'm going to do my thing, you're going to do your thing, and we are just like roommates. Oh, see, I didn't read it that way. Yeah, that's how I read it. So I read it, I read the ending, because they had that whole calendar, right? Like, the, there was a calendar, it was like the 14th or something, that I guess once a month or maybe once a year, I, I don't, I didn't, they didn't talk about frequency, but that... Danny and Carl do their thing in the virtual reality. Mm -hmm. And on that same day, she goes out and she sleeps with some guy that she wants to in reality. The only, don't I think they, which not (laughs) right like that. And then that that, deal does not seem fair to me. I I thought they showed the calendar because it was his birthday. Yeah. I think on his birthday, he gets to bang his his friend. No, (laughs) I didn't, I didn't see that. I saw that as, yeah, because, because this brings up a whole nother thing of, is this cheating? Yes. Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah, it is. yeah, yeah. No. Like, and shit. Look, there's cheating without. Many... There's cheating without sex. There's, there's, you know, emotional cheating. So, right. And right. I don't yeah. know too many. I don't know too many black women that'll be like, 
Yeah, I'm I'm okay with this. Nah, yo, uh, <laughs> this, this screams mm. this screams common law. This screams we roommates, yo. We roommates. Uh, we don't roommates. Stay, uh, we don't, uh, divorce. <laughs> no, divorce. We gonna stay, we gonna stay together for this kid until he grows up and he learns that his father's a fucking fag perv. <laughs> and, and I don't I don't I don't believe that. I'm just saying that for shock value before somebody flips the fuck out. Uh, he said it. All right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, this is getting demonetized. Go ahead. <laughs> And, um, and, but yeah, I don't know too many women that would be cool with any type no, of. No, I, I mean, don't imagine, think so. But, uh, but imagine, again, doing it, imagine doing that with, with a traditional heterosexual relationship. Right. That would be a problem. Like, I, I guess the, I guess the other aspect is, is this, is this the same as pornography? Right. One could make the argument Okay, not not regular traditional porn, right? Which is a one way situation. You're just watching a, yeah. a video. But let's say you're you're watching fucking Cam Soda or whatever, and you're having an interaction with some chick, you know, diddling herself with a dragon dildo or whatever it is people do. <laughs> I don't know. I don't watch those things. But I'm a, I'm a more of a traditional porn. Yeah, I'm a guy. traditionalist. When I, I don't need you looking back at me. Ra- yeah, relax. It's, 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 film your film your classics. And I'll watch this. Yeah, I'm already ashamed. I don't need you <laughs> fucking. <laughs> I've already entered a shame spiral. It's fine. <laughs> so, like, is dealing with somebody who's like on a cam soda kind of thing is that equal to this? I think so. Yeah. So, so you would mark looking at porn like a, a live thing, talking to someone, if doing you're it talking live, to someone. That's cheating to you. Yeah, it is because it's it's that's fair. That's fair. part of that is you know I don't know that I would qual- and and it's you know you're getting feedback like I yeah the feedback is where it fucks it fucks it up right that's mm-hmm. like that's like a prostitute to me mm, interesting and, and I'm not sure I would categorize it like that but I I, I understand I understand the point though. So I, yeah. I don't know what I would say. I'm I'm but I'm look, you know me. Um I'm, I'm <laughs> no, no, don't betray me. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> don't do that shit. <laughs> so apparently Micah's wife can't fuck another person inside a Tekken game. <laughs> what no. if it's just a polar bear though? No. And and Tekken it's a panda bear and a brown and then what a about bear. Yeah, what about King? He's got like the coat on and shit. I know he's he's technically a luchador, so he's a man in a tiger mask. Oh, that's unacceptable. That is he got unacceptable. Man, oh, he got man parts. No, yeah, right, no, 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 <laughs> no. We're not having that. You ain't fucking the bear. You ain't fucking the kangaroo. You ain't fucking the dinosaur. You ain't fucking the robots. You're not fucking anybody uh, in a Tekken lineup. Oh damn! No. She can't even like she can't even get on with like Yoshimitsu. Nope. No, oh, no demons. Anything. No demons. No none of that shit. <laughs> no Jack Seven. None of that shit. No. Oh. Mm-mm. He's built for someone's pleasure. Anyway, uh, I thought, but I thought that was a good that was a good topic. I thought it was a good choice. It's a very yeah. interesting, really weird, reductum absurdum way of getting to the core of a topic, which is about uh, in this this case specifically black male um, uh, intimacy. Which yeah. is just super fascinating. Um, so yeah, that was a weird that's a weird preview episode, but it's it's I thought it was uh, I thought it was a good topic. It was a good one for you. Yeah. Um, all right, so we will see you guys next week for Carmen. Oh, boy. Uh, good luck, Micah. You have to do the readout for this. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Summer. Yeah. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she just asked about it the other day, too. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, all right, guys. We will see you guys next week. See you. Bye. You're watching the Black on Black Cinema YouTube channel. Make sure you check out our full reviews of black movies, past and present. And every other week we do a preview episode where we talk about a random topic that affects the black community.